you watch pro players, there's something called what I've termed the flow. How many steps do you think pro players take per shot? 10 to 12. I'm going to go 9 to 11. How about the average club player, 4.0? 3 to 4. What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Okay, so actually there's, there's different kinds of steps. Okay, there are explosive steps and there are positioning steps. And I hear a lot of coaches say, take little steps to the ball. All right, that makes me crazy because that's what this reminds me of doing. <laughs> okay, um, pro players will take explosive steps. One, two, three, they can cover the sideline. And then they'll take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine adjustment steps. And those little positioning steps are the difference between this and this. Okay. The problem with that is, as amateur athletes, your first three steps are not as quick as the pros. So they take those three steps and they are there in time to now take the extra positioning steps to be perfect on the ball. In addition to that, they have a better sense of spacing, so they don't even always have to take those steps. Right? They may only have to take one or two positioning steps, whereas we might have to take five or six. And I'm going to demonstrate it. Okay? This is what it looks like. Um, basically, it's this. One, two, three. We call this a mogul step or a skier step, slalom ski step. They come out, this foot comes around, bang, crossover, up, one, two, three, crossover, up, one, two, three. Notice how far I'm getting? One, two, three. I'm getting outside those double sidelines. Thank God it's a small court. <laughs> okay, that's the movement that the pros are using. And then after they take that one, two, three, they might have time to go up, up, they might have time to step in. Etc. Take over for a second. I need to breathe. <laughs> yeah. And one thing I would mention also is if you look at any athlete, there's a speed curve. Right leg, let's say you start in a race, Usain Bolt, his right leg goes up, left leg's a little bit faster, right leg's up, everything goes faster, faster, then it finally plateaus by like the sixth or seventh step. So what happens is the first few steps, they, they're a chain to each other. So even th something that's near you, it could be here, I get power from that because of that first step that went here to there. And then I went here, and then there's power, power. It's building on each other versus just being very much flat-footed. And the worst thing you could ever do is go to a spot and jump. Because once you jump, you've lost all power. Because I, I'm not building from each other. It's build, 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 power. Right? That's the power. And, and what happens if you do big steps, what does that force you to do? To be lower. And what do a lot of players tend to do? They little steps up high. Woo, here we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> We want in here. I'm grounded. I'm in here, right? Grounded and rock solid. Thank you. <laughs> Gordon, uh, his friend is Novak Djokovic, and he actually participates in his team at times. Um, I learned something about Novak that you can probably attest to or tell more of. Novak has a secret that he calls his triangle or his pyramid. His b upper body is always in between his feet. He's incredibly flexible. He never wants this. Mm -hmm. We actually see Rafa do this sometimes. How'd you okay? know this? Nova, Novak is here. He yeah. always wants his body in between his feet. That's how he keeps his balance. Roger plays very similarly. Okay? That is a, you heard John Austin last night in the forum say, he was asked a question about the difference between amateur practices and pro practices. And he said the two biggest things are footwork, is, the feet are always moving, and the players are always balanced. Okay, that is a trade secret. I know that actually. Um, yeah. The net, we get this position a lot. You'll see the pro players here. Exactly. See the pro players here. Body in between the feet. Go ahead. So an example of that might be if I'm going back and I have a deep ball, let's say this is the baseline because I don't have the room to, and I go here like this and I hit off the back foot and I'm, I lost the triangle, didn't I? So no. what might you do? It might be you go here, big steps, and I'm, now my head is here, my foot's out here, foot, I'm, I, got, I maintain that triangle. Right, so all movements, if you really can think of that, it's gonna take a lot of work from the legs, but it's well worth it. One thing, I, I, a few coaches I've worked with, I've heard this a lot, is you'd much rather win a match 6-2, 6-3, than win it 7-6 and a third doing the wrong thing. Because you're using, it's gonna feel like so much more energy every point, but give your best energy, most efficient energy, and you're, you're gonna beat people that you wouldn't have beaten. Yeah, great you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.